Hi everybody, I'm Kalise. This is the Holiday Review. We are continuing to work on our five-star Thanksgiving menu. Today we are making ultimate mashed potatoes from Tasty. Um, they tell us it's an experience, so we're gonna make them. I, this calls for yellow um, Yukon potatoes and you have to peel them. That, nobody needs to watch me do that, so I've pre-peeled them. This is what they look like. Uh, and they've been sitting in cold water per the instructions so that they didn't turn brown. And after that, we are cutting them into one inch cubes and putting them in the water. Potatoes are cut. They are in the cold water, goes on the stove and bring to a boil, uh, reduce heat to low and simmer for 12 minutes. Go put those on the stove. Potatoes are simmering, or well, getting warm. Uh, this recipe calls for heavy cream and milk to boil or simmer, simmer uh, with eight ovens hot. Uh, with eight cloves of garlic. Some of mine were absolutely huge, so I didn't do full eight because that's my kids won't eat it if I keep putting more garlic in it. Um, this then simmers, we strain it, and we will mix that into our potatoes at the end. We simmered our cream and milk mixture with lots of garlic. We're gonna strain it uh, into the bowl. Set that aside to mix in after the potatoes are done cooking. Made our potatoes, boiled them for the allotted 12 minutes, uh, well, simmered them for the allotted 12 minutes. Um, and now we're supposed to put them, mash them with a potato masher. I actually don't own a potato masher. Um, so I said I could use a potato masher, a potato ricer, I don't own one of those, or by pushing through a fine mesh sieve with a spatula. That sounds like a nightmare. Uh, so I googled and they said that basically you could just shred them really finely So I have this attachment that goes on my mixer that will do that for me So I'm gonna use I'm gonna do that Because that sounds easier than shoving it through a sieve by hand um, But this is a lot of potatoes and I feel like this is gonna take us um five years, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be here for a month of Sundays, but they're gonna be good potatoes. Well, we're gonna find out if they're gonna be good potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna move this closer. Okay. Those are, I mean, they're definitely mashed up. I have no comment about this attachment. This is Okay, we're done with this attachment. This, this attachment is an embarrassment to itself. All right, potatoes. They are cooked. They are mashed. Add the cubed butter and the salt. So this is cold butter. I just took it out of the refrigerator. It is quite, it's very cold. Does it say uh, stir to combine? It's two tables, two teaspoons of salt. I don't know. That's a lot of salt. All right. Uh, gradually add the cream little by little until fully incorporated. So I'm going to start that process. Oh 
Okay. Those are our potatoes, people. They're all over my hands. Mm, the ones out of my hands are taste good, taste good. Let's see. Um, they're like restaurant mashed potatoes, which are Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. So they're like, they're almost like, ice, like, like they're like a dough. Like they're just not light and fluffy. They're very thick. They're really good. You totally could put more garlic in these. They're really good. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. I mean, I would totally eat these and never complain. They're quite, they're quite good. But they're heavy for a potato. I mean, potatoes aren't light, um, but this is heavy. I'm a mess. Um, I'm heavy. It, it, it's heavy. They're really good. I don't know. I think like on a day-to-day -day basis, this is not my preference for mashed potatoes. I like a russet, but these are really good if you're going to use Yukon Gold. It's just a different texture. I would say you could use even more garlic than I put in there because like it's there, but it's not overpowering. Uh, it does need a little bit of pepper, but that's going to be to taste for everybody. So these are, we made ultimate mashed potatoes from Tasty. This is the holiday review. I'm Khalees. Um, we are working on our five star Thanksgiving menu and this one had all the stars. Um, visit us at theholidayreview.com for more recipes that you can make in your kitchen and for recipes in real life and some of them you really should never make in real life. See you next time.